to our tutorial this week. In this episode, I wanted to share with you how you can create a Facebook fan page. One of the things that most teachers don't want to do with Facebook is to get their students to friend them or to see their personal posts. As you can see right now, you're looking at my personal, uh, pay, my personal um, stream of, of my friends and different people sharing information with me. I certainly wouldn't want my students to see any of this. So what I want to share with you is how you can create a fan page that's something that your students and parents can come to and like so they can see professional posts from you and not see anything that's personal from you. Here's how you get started. If you come over to the left side of your, uh, of your Facebook screen and you see the menus over here, I want you to go down to the word pages and just roll over it and click on the word more. This will bring up a page that get, lets you see some of the different pages that maybe you've already created. And if you haven't created any, all you'll see is the button up here that says create a page. This is the fastest way to get started. Now notice, this is where you can go in and create a new persona for you that has more of a professional feel. There's a lot of choices for you here. I'm going to suggest that you pick the one that says artist, band, or public figure. As you click on that, a menu will show up that gives you some options. I'm going to go down here and pick the option for teacher. And then I name my page. Usually, you'll use a professional name like Mr. Covelli and you agree to the terms and you can get started. It's just that easy to get started with a page. You can see the first question it asks is if you want to set up your own profile image. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I can just upload from the computer or I can use a website if I have one available. I'm just going to go out on my desktop. I think I've got a picture of me here that I can upload and use. Again, this, this wizard will help you go through and set up this page pretty quickly. You can put in a few basic pieces of information. Maybe I say, you know, fifth grade classroom. Um, in Granite School District. Just a little bit of information there. Okay. I'm going to keep moving on with this. At any point, you can change this if you need to. Notice it asks you if you want to put up ads. We're going to skip that. No, we don't want to put up any ads. And just like that, you've developed your own, uh, you've developed your own uh, fan page is what this is called. I better like my own page. I can go through and invite contacts to this. So if I have a classroom email list, I can send this to all of my Paris' students. I'm going to skip over that right now. And you can see it works just like the regular Facebook where you can share videos, post events, uh, share ideas for students and parents. But this way, it only comes through as the Mr. Covilli posts. You can see up above, you've got some information where you can put in um, different pieces of content where you can see who's coming to your site. You can invite friends and different things like that. The big idea here is that this is a professional page that does not have any content about you personally. I think this is a great way for you to share Facebook ideas because so many of the students are already on it and the parents are already using it. Um, and you can use this without feeling like you're invading privacy or having other people invading your privacy. I hope this has been helpful for you to see how to create a fan page, and I hope you have success in creating your own fan pages for this week's assignment.